let's talk about we have to talk about the little boom shit so i don't know if you guys have been paying attention but dj academics is right hand man little boom is in some big trouble he got caught no somebody exposed the fact that in i think 2021 he was um accused of going into a target and sexually assaulting sexually harassing sexually abusing a 10 year old girl and a 17 year old girl and maybe some other people in there he randomly allegedly he randomly allegedly pulled up to a target in his pjs and some slippers and started walking down the aisles and shit and touching up random people in the fucking supermarket crazy shit crazy even worse because it was a fucking 10 year old right obviously it's always bad but literal children that's some pedo shit in my opinion but what do i know anyway people pulled up his paperwork online and obviously 1090 jake the king of paperwork put it up on there and he's talking about it in his latest video so i'm going to react to it to it now um 1090 jake on little boom academics is right hand man um going in fucking walmart and touching kids let's play the video Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake. No rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on Adam 22, exposing the first rapper of 2024. Less than two weeks into the new year, and Adam 22 is starting off with a boom, literally. Adam would share a Facebook post to his Instagram story by the Ocala Police Department. The post would read, update, thanks to our Facebook followers, this person was identified. His name is Shannon Jawan Adams, 23. He also goes by Lil Boom. No offense, but is Lil Boom too ugly to rap? No offense, but is Lil Boom too ugly to rap? Like, is there like a certain threshold you have to reach to rap? He looks a bit too ugly, isn't it? You have to be a certain level of like, you have to have something about you to rap. Like, he looks way too ugly. Like, it's just, it's not going to happen. But maybe I'm hating. Who knows? Originally, the post read, can you identify? We need your help identifying this person of interest. He was seen walking around inside the Walmart located on Easy Street. Inside Walmart, he inappropriately touched the backside of multiple people, including children. Adam would savagely at Lil Boom, asking how is this real while laughing his ass off. Mm. The next day, a post to No Jumper's Instagram would get Lil Boom's attention after not only posting close-up surveillance pictures, but Facebook comments left on the police department's page Jesus of a woman Christ. claiming her and her daughter were also followed around the same store. Lil Boom would comment, this is so cap. If this was true, I'd be on a fucking register. Imagine that being your defense. Imagine somebody accuses you of touching up little kids in a target. And your defense is, no, 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 but but if I did it, I'll be on a registry. I'll be on a sex offenders list if I did it. What? That's like somebody saying, you get, you get accused of rape and you're like, oh, if I was a rapist, I'd have loads of people accusing me. I can't just have one person accusing me. It's like, bro, I don't think, I don't think that's the defense you want to go with. Like, like what? <laughs> That is the most fucked up defense I've ever heard. But as we all remember, designer got caught choking the chicken on a plane, and part of his plea is he wouldn't have to register. Now, Lil Boom was arrested only three days after the Facebook post was made, and his arrest report would reveal some disturbing details. Jesus Christ. On September 19th, 2021, the Ocala Police Department responded to a Walmart after... A and maybe I'm exaggerating here, but I'm, I've got to be honest, man. It doesn't happen often, maybe because we're a minority, right? Black people around the world, we are a minority. I think in the UK, black people make up less than 10% of the population. Maybe in other places, is less. But it does hit different when you see another black person doing this shit. It does hit different, especially when they're a young guy. Like That guy looks like, Lil Boom looks like he might be what? He should be like under 30. Maybe he's early 30s. Maybe he's like mid-20s. But he's a young dude. Imagine being into this shit at that age. You're going into targets, touching 10-year-olds. Like, what are you doing, brother? Like, you're doing pedo shit at this age. This sort of dicey pedo shit. This is not even like... I don't even know what is acceptable. There's nothing acceptable, really. But I don't know. This is like you going in a supermarket, like, at like, what, 7 p.m.? And you're not even in, like, a club or something. 
like where you're getting handsy with some girl like you're in like in some bright well-lit supermarket touching kids in aisles as they what going to grab a frozen pizza you're there behind them bending up like oh disgusting bro reports of a battery Arriving at the scene, officers made contact with a father who advised his daughters were inappropriately touched. The 10 and 17 year old girls advised they were in the produce section with the rest of their family nearby. That's when a male, later identified as Shannon or Lil Boom, approached and touched the 10 year old's butt. Come on bro, you should be in pen or ready for that. You should be under the jail, electrocuted, shot, hung run over with a fucking let's get brendan's trx and let's run you over with that let's get brendan's trx run you over with that and then throw you in the deepest ocean with a grabbing motion he then continued to the 17 year old and did the same before walking away the officer made contact with a male witness who advised while shopping in the produce section he observed Lil boom touch a young female on the butt Contact was made with loss prevention, who allowed the officer to review the surveillance video. A red Chevy could be seen entering the Walmart parking lot. Boom would enter the Walmart before making his way to the produce section, and at this time the two underage females were in the same section selecting items. Boom can be seen approaching the 10 year old from behind and touching her butt to which she jumped away from him. The two girls would walk towards their mother as the suspect proceeds closer to them. That's when he approached the 17 year old, touching her butt. Six minutes later, Boom could be observed on camera approaching a third female where he attempts to touch her butt, but she doesn't react. I love that in the stream chat, when I was watching, listening to academics earlier, they were calling little Boom, little groom. <laughs> They've called, like his name has changed forever now. I know how they call Adam 22, Adam 16. Now little Boom's name is little groom. Obviously, academics' chat niggas are fucking hilarious. They called him Little Groom. <laughs> the female then takes a few steps and he attempts to touch her again, but this time she turned around and stared at him. Ocala police were unable to identify or contact this victim. 13 minutes since the first cheek was batted. Yeah, I don't think he's Haitian. People are saying he's Haitian. I think he's Somali. He looks very Somali, isn't it? He looks very, very, very Somali to me. I don't know what you guys think. He looks very, very Somalian. I've seen a couple of boys in Beckton around here who looks like him. Do you know what I mean? He looks very, very Somalian to me. He looks he looks like some of my fucking, you know. <laughs> some of my some of my uh, some of my Mali Mandem, you know what I mean? Some of my Mogadishu Mandem. Boom can be seen on video walking to the cosmetic department. A young Hispanic female was standing, looking at something on display, when Boom walks up behind her and brushes up very close from behind. He'd walk back to her several times without her noticing when she bent down to look at something. Boom would pull out his cell phone and appear to be taking pictures from underneath the female as she crouched down. He'd do this for several moments until an older Hispanic woman moved a cot behind the young What's that Somalian saying? Is it Salam Aleikum? Salam Aleikum? Is it Salam Aleikum? Salam Aleikum? Is it Salam Aleikum? Salam Aleikum? Something like that, innit? Like it means like hello or something. Salam Aleikum, Salam Aleikum or something. Big up my Mali man them. The female preventing him from taking any more pictures. According to the arrest report, it states it should be noted the female was wearing jeans and therefore doesn't meet the requirements of video voyeurism. For those unfamiliar with the term, it's under Florida Statute 810.145. A person commits video voyeurism when for their own amusement, entertainment, sexual arousal, gratification, profit, or for the purpose of Anyone that's sweating in their own music video deserves to be imprisoned. A music video should be you in your best light. If you're there sweating in your music video, you probably deserve to be in prison, to be fair. ...of degrading another person, intentionally installs a camera to secretly view or record a person without their consent, who is dressing, undressing, or privately exposed. In simpler terms, it's when a weird motherfucker tries recording naked people. Had the woman in the grocery store been wearing a skirt, Lil Boom would have been hit with another charge. You know what was wild? I remember seeing this video 
on my favorite subreddit of all time, public freakout subreddit, right? There was a video of this black dude, again, another creepy black dude in another supermarket and he was at the frozen produce aisle and every time a woman would open the fridge to get something, he'd like stand behind them, like literally, like with his crutch behind their bum, ever so slightly touching them. And then when they noticed, he'd turn around quickly and act like nothing was happening. And he did it like to five different people in the same aisle. There was CCTV footage of it. He just walked behind them. And then he'd like, as soon as they would open the fridge and like bend down, because for some, again, some women too, I don't know what it is about women. They love to bend down at their hips. They don't bend like with their knees. So they just bend down and they've got their fucking ass up in the air. So if you're a creep, it's easy to walk by and just like slap or do whatever nonsense they're doing. So he then just walks by and just stands behind them. And then when they turn around, he quite, like quickly runs away. I remember watching that video thinking, oh my God, this guy deserves to be questioned. If he's doing this in broad daylight in a supermarket down the fro frozen produce aisle, imagine what he must be gearing up to do. That's like, um, maybe I'm being dramatic, but that's like when serial killers start cutting up clothes in supermarkets and stuff or start, you know, jumping in women's houses and stealing their underwear. That's like you're gearing up for something. That type of shit. Like, that isn't some kink. That's you, like, you know, wanting to fucking rape and bind and shit. You know I mean, you're on your way. You're on your way to do some Jeffrey Dahmer shit. Like, you need to you need, you need to be locked up, bro. What's even weirder is after the older woman intervened, Lil Boom still stayed by the woman with his phone out for several minutes before leaving the store. Clear photos would be taken from the surveillance video showing Boom was wearing pajama pants at the time. And two days after being posted to the Ocala Police Department's Facebook, a female would contact officers stating she recognized Boom from a party two years prior and identified him as Lil Boom. Jesus but when Christ. searching for his social media, it would turn out he deactivated his accounts. Officers were able to find matching photos of Boom on Facebook, but that wouldn't be all. Officers would make contact with Darian Hester, who advised Lil. So what? He's got another. He's got a little fucking collective of people. He's got a groom squad. He's got a pedo team. Pedo boys with the Z, not coke boys. Pedo boys. Is that what they're doing? He's got a team of guys walking around targets, touching up kids. Yo, firing squad for all these men. All these men for dead. I'm on my fucking Jada Kingdom shit, a Russian shit. All these men for dead. Fire, 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 man. Burn them all. God damn, bruv. Gasoline thing. Shit. Man's got a team. Anyway, never trust a man who cuts their beard this way. Any guy who cuts their beard like this and then has that fucking boardwalk empire, Nucky Thompson, thin moustache shit, never trust them. Any man with a beard and no moustache should not be fucking trusted in my personal opinion. Any man that goes to a fucking Target supermarket with pajama pants on, a man, not a woman, a chick can do whatever. Let her go in leggings and pajama pants. But if you're a dude and you're going to a supermarket in pajama pants and sandals, you belong in jail too. You also might be a pedo. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. That's the truth. If you're going to Target it at fucking 6 p.m. in an evening with your fucking pajama, like if you have to drive to a Target, if the Target's down the road, fair enough. If your Walmart is five minute walk, fair enough. But if you have to get in your car to drive somewhere and you wear pajama pants, you are a pedo. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boom was an associate of his, but refused to provide additional information over the phone. Instead, Darian agreed to meet officers at his residence. Officers would arrive, making contact with Darian, who was uncooperative and refused to provide any information, even though he agreed to meet officers at his address. But come to find out, this was also the home of Lil Boom. Jeez. Boom's mother, who was the registered owner of the red Chevy seen on surveillance video at the Walmart. You're driving your mom's car to go do Peter behavior. Nah. You're taking your mom's car on fucking pedo rideouts. You're taking your mum's whip to do pedo rideouts. And these are the same guys that are barking at women. They get on fresh and fit. They're hard on thoughts. 
they're ragging on girls i would never date a girl that did this how many bodies do you have all this shit bruh bruh you're touching kids and driving your mum's car and here you are talking about girls and shit what they should do and what they shouldn't do i wouldn't wife a fault i wouldn't be the girl that has a kid all of these standards and you're driving your mum's car to do pedo ride outs fire feed them advised she is boom's mother and acknowledged she took it to walmart she also confirmed his nickname is Lil boom officers would call boom who identified himself as shannon when asked shannon advised he was just shopping around and didn't touch anyone because shannon was identified on surveillance video and admitted to being there the day of the incident officers found probable cause to charge him with two counts of battery 23 year old shannon adams or Lil boom would be taken into custody just four days after the incident took place. Now, Boom would make Bond and retain Miss Alexa Rimmer to represent him. It just so happens Miss Rimmer went viral on TikTok, where she describes herself as a public defender lady who lives in Orlando. She'd make a video for all of her girls, gays, and days, spreading awareness on store facial recognition. Jesus Christ. What's up y'all? This message is for all my girls, gays and days that like to use the five finger discount. Um, I am not endorsing or condoning any criminal behavior, but I am just here to tell you that some of these stores have facial recognition technology. Her video has over one point. Yo, only in America would you have a lawyer get on fucking social media advising you on how to fucking commit a crime on how to shoplift. Only in America would there be a lawyer who's passed a bar exam getting on fucking social media with a full face and a full government name telling people how to steal. How is she ending it? Is she like doing a disclaimer? This is not financial advice. This is not fucking, what you call it? Law advice or something. Like what is she doing to protect herself? She's like, allegedly stores have facial recognition so like woman what are you doing bro 0.8 million views and just so happens to be the same way Lil boom was identified to police looking back at his arrest report officers utilized the faces program to identify photos of Lil boom to the surveillance photos taken at the walmart with his lawyer ready boom would get himself a sweet deal and plead no contest in court Meaning he doesn't admit he did anything, but doesn't dispute the facts of the case. Oh. He'd be convicted on two counts of misdemeanor battery, which is defined as touching or striking someone against their will. As part of his plea, he'd be given 12 months of probation, fines, and 40 hours of community service. But he'd also have to sign... Community service must be a weird thing, isn't it? Community service, you might be, in, you, you might be with somebody that literally stole a fucking a chocolate bar from a store you might be with somebody who didn't pay their parking tickets or something right or parking fines and then you also might be doing community service with a guy who's literally a pedo you have no idea <laughs> it's so random sign off agreeing he will have no unsupervised contact with minors under 18 Jesus have no Christ. contact with the two victims in this case and he'd be required to undergo a psychosexual evaluation. In if you need a psychosexual evaluation, I think they should just remove you from the earth. Allegedly. It's a joke, it's a prank. But yeah. If you need psychosexual evaluations, you probably shouldn't be... I can't say that, can I? No. Nah. February of 2023, an affidavit for violation of probation would be filed, stating Boom failed to pay multiple fines, still owed 26 hours of community service, and failed to provide proof he completed his psychosexual evaluation. <laughs> Boom would take to YouTube in a live that's since been deleted, where roughly 70 viewers listened as he denied any wrongdoing. He'd state he doesn't even care and that his family and friends don't even care. Jesus but once again, Christ. going back to the affidavit, we can see one of his family members, Darian, who turns out to be Boom's brother, gave the police his address to speak with them. His brother snitched on him. <laughs> to be fair though, everyone should have a line. Everyone should have a line. You should have a line about what you would 
snitch for. There should be, even if it's family, there should be something there. And maybe doing some pedo shit might be the one. Murder, I could kind of, murder, I'm going to, I'm going to ride with you. Because I don't know what happened, do you know what I mean? And it could, it could have been a fight gone wrong. But pedo and rape shit? I can't, I mean, I can't, I can't. How can I do that? How can I run beef? How can I run cover for a family member? If you did some pedo and rape shit, that's too much. But if you kill a bunch of people, people die every day, B. <laughs> Darian and Boom can be seen in family photos together, and Darian even portrays to be a rolling 60s crip on Facebook. So if he didn't feel some type of way about Boom's accusations, why would he contact the police and essentially lead them to Boom's doorstep? Jesus Christ. I decided to reach out to Darian, aka Just Odolo. I'd ask if he knew his brother was going viral over the Walmart case, where it said he grabbed two minor asses, a third female who was taking pics of a fourth female, bent over in the store. I told him I got the paperwork and it said he gave the police their home address. While Boom is claiming nobody in his family cared because he didn't do anything, and I saw his brother is claiming Rolling 60's crip, I wanted to ask his opinion on the situation before I dropped the video. Justo would say, I didn't anything and he didn't do it. It's come with the fame, bro. You should know this, white boy. No, I absolutely love this. I love this when people do this. I love when people snitch and then when they get called out for snitching, they act like they didn't. What is that? Is that like a form of manipulation, a form of gaslighting, retconning like DSP does? What is that? When people, it's on, it's on paper. You're on paperwork. Because technically, if you didn't snitch, there should be no paperwork of you saying anything. It should just be all no comment, no comment, no comment, right? It's easy not to snitch. You just don't say nothing. You just take the consequences of what happens, but you just kind of keep your, your, your you know, keep your fucking mouth shut. Um, get my lawyer. Don't say a fucking word. It's not that difficult to do. But when you do snitch, you do so knowing, willingly. You don't usually snitch because you've been coerced or you've been, you know, someone bent your arm around your back. It's usually something that you decide to do. So I love when these guys, these kind of hood dudes, these gangsters, right, decide to do it and then like act like they didn't. It's like, bro, your name is on the paperwork. <laughs> Maybe you regret it now, but you still did it. This response, because now I'm just going to pick just a pie. I'd send him the paperwork clearly stating he agreed to meet at his home, and I asked him, that's you, ain't it? I'd also send him page two of his brother's plea agreement saying, and that's him signing off saying he can't have unsupervised <laughs> contact with it. minors, right? The fuck type of crip you is. Jesus Christ. Justo would it. respond with, come find out what kind of crip I am. And before we continue with anything else, let, let, let's start there. Just looking at your Instagram, I can tell you the type of crypt that wear more red than blue. Like you really don't even wear blue. The only gang repping you're doing is really with emojis. And the only picture of you with anyone else repping a flag is this goofy shit from 2015. Oh, Tanya Jack is ripping him apart. Everyone's getting it. You know, little, little Grimm's brother's getting it. His set's getting it. Everyone's getting it. Big up Tanya Jack. This the type of crypt you is. Now, Justo would say, do your homework. That shit false, cuz. And I clarified I did my homework. He signed off on it and got probation, no contact with kids, psychosexual evaluation. He'd say I'm whooped and did I know he has a twin? No way. No way did the brother say, did you know he has a twin? Are you trying to say that it wasn't Little Boom in the video, it was the twin brother? So you're still snitching? So he's not snitching on the brother now. He's snitching on another brother. <laughs> he's got a twin. <laughs> Yo, these guys are fucking idiots, bro. Honestly, it's just amazing. I love the, I love the range of intelligence. Some gangsters, some gangbangers are really smart, right? To the point where you're thinking, rah, if you took that smart and you smart that intelligence and you applied it to like co the corporate world, these guys would be fucking beasts. Then you've got some people in gangs, some gangbangers who are legit double digit IQ, wings of redemption level of dumb, you know? 
like ridiculously dumb the kind of kids that didn't graduate fucking high school the kind of kids that dropped out of fucking elementary school super dumb the the fucking the range is crazy you got super smart guys and then really fucking redacted dudes literally guys that can't spell they can't fucking do any fucking simple fucking you know maths legit don't know their ass from their elbow but then you got super smart ones imagine my twin brother my brother's twin is like huh alleging it may have been one of boom's brothers instead of boom so i'd say did you know he said it was him on live last night but he bumped into the girls he didn't touch them justo would say to clarify i bumped into them i fell in their pussies like imagine that's that defense isn't it right isn't there like a oh i'm gonna reveal myself now but isn't there like a porn about that is it like a naughty america it's like a legendary one where the guy's like fighting and then he kind of falls into the girl like whoops <laughs> Isn't there like a pool like that? Like, is it Naughty America? Naughty America. <laughs> I saw this video where the guy's like wrestling with the girl and he falls into her. <laughs> porn boys, porn boys, porn boys. <laughs> I, and I'd send him the clip from Boom's Live. He was like, if you go to trial, they're going to... Because you did, you did, you did bump into them. Yes, you did. Did you touch somebody on their ass cheeks and grip they grip they booty cheeks? Stinagu, Stinagu, what's naughty America? You're you're over whooping now. You're over whooping now. Do your homework. You're over whooping about what's fucking naughty America. Get out of here. What's naughty America? All right, all right. Stop the okay, stop the fat stop the fat stop the cap <laughs> stop the fucking cap come on man what come on like they make it seem like I was in Walmart gripping booty cheeks and sniffing in ass cheeks and shit no nigga niggas was in my way I got them out of my way now Boom would claim the allegations against him weren't true and that he only bumped into the girl so he bumped into a ten year old girl. Told her to get out of his way, not by just saying, hey, sorry, miss, would you mind stepping out of the way? Excuse me, I'm coming through. Sorry, my bad, as a normal person would. What did he do with a 10-year-old? He bent down and reached and cupped her ass and then pushed her out of the way. Is that what he did? Is that how he was bending himself? So, yeah, all right, cool, man. Girls were walking by because they were in his way. He'd somewhat addressed the third female he allegedly touched on camera and never mentioned the fourth who he allegedly stood around taking pictures of. And he'd say, how were police able to identify him and not them? Well, personally, I don't think a victim would want their pictures shared over social media, asking Crime Stoppers to identify whose ass was allegedly touched in aisle three. So I'd assume that's why it was easier for them to identify Boom and not the two victims. But Boom isn't done. According to another live, Boom plans on suing me, Adam22, and Christ. two others for defamation. Cause I'm finna, I got a lawsuit on this nigga. Um, it's like five people, a smashy, gremlin, uh, Jake, Adam. For defamation, nigga, are you stupid? Stupid. Now the definition of defamation is the action of damaging the good reputation of someone, slander, or libel. But what exactly was done to damage his good reputation? Adam22 reposted a screenshot saying no way this is real. Boom commented saying it was cap because if it was true he'd be on a registry. And I asked him if he's sure about that. Because literally, according to his court documents, he was charged with battery on a 10 year old girl and a 17 year old girl for the unwanted physical contact he made with their backside. Imagine that, charged with battery against a 10 year old. We need to bring back shame, innit? There's no shame anymore on the internet. If you got accused of something like that, you should disappear from social media. You should you should no longer be a content creator. You should be ashamed. You should be you, you should want to fucking, you know, you should want to fucking go through some level of rehabilitation. Work on yourself. The last thing you want to be doing is like on on fucking live stream with a green screen. Like, what is this shit? We need to bring back shame. We need to bring back fucking shame because this is horrendous. 
He claims he didn't touch them but bumped into them. They claimed he touched them inappropriately. And he pled no contest and was convicted on both charges of battery, signing in his plea deal to stay away from both victims, etc, etc. So he didn't need to be placed on a registry for what the police alleged to be true. Exactly. And he later was found guilty of two of the allegations. Exactly. Now the biggest plot twist of the century comes from the fact that Adam 22 wasn't even the one that boomed Lil Boom's paperwork. Come to find out, Lil Boom is a Discord mod who allegedly got into an argument with a female Discord mod named Smash. She would claim he banned her from the Discord and then sprayed all of her information into the Discord. Oh my god. Yo, academics hangs around with some dodgy guys, isn't it? Imagine this running in your Discord. Imagine. Academics has some... The company he keeps is so bizarre. From that girl that's literally trying to ruin his life to his right-hand man doing this. He docks this girl's entire details on Discord. What does somebody have to do to do this, to deserve this? Just because you had a disagreement. You had a bit of a spat. You do this to somebody. What does somebody have to do to deserve this level of a treatment? This level of, like you know privacy invasion like what like god almighty bro such as her name age weight her six-year-old daughter's name her family god members almighty. her current address and even previous addresses in return she decided to look into Lil boom and discovered the post made by the police department wow. that boom has allegedly victimized women and children before she also claims She's filing charges on Boom for doxing her and her child. Good, good. So while Boom apparently doesn't like his own business being passed around and is threatening to sue, no one would have ever known his history had he not sprayed a woman's personal info, including her child, over a Discord. Anyway, that's the conclusion of it. Um, DJ Academics' right-hand man is a real creep. Anyone defending that shit also deserves to be in prison themselves. Alleged, whatever, we have documents about it, police reports. He obviously went into some sort of plea agreement just because he's not in registry doesn't mean he didn't do it. Um, the defense that he has about, you know, his brother saying it's his twin, him saying he bumped into the women is nonsense and just disgusting. And if anything, is another real black mark and a real L on academics as well. It seems like he's been having nonstop L's from those girls accusing him of being a pedo as well those weird dms of him asking the girl when she's 18 the story of that girl in the house getting ran a train on by his friends and maybe he fucked her too or maybe he didn't who knows his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend on off girlfriend shay glizzy trying to ruin his life exposing him revealing dick pics or something she sent to adam 22 and whack 100 stealing money hitting his fucking mom exposing him deleting his streams turning off his streams saying crazy shit about him on discord it's just non-stop fucking l's but you know what's quite gratifying about it you know what's quite gratifying about it it's actually gratifying to see that dorks will always be dorks lames will always be lames i think that's what i remember fabulous saying this is a weird example but when fabulous and um who's that guy again um the fucking brandy's brother what's his fucking name brandy's brother do you guys remember his name brandy's brother the fucking r&b singer when him and fabius were going back 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 and forth what's his fucking name short guy ray j that's it ray j we got dark web j you remember when fabulous and brandy fabulous and ray j were going back and forth and ray j did that famous clip about we got 100 for rolls royces we got booty goons fabulous came on the radio and replied back to that famous rant and i remember him saying you can never unlame a guy. Like a, a lame nigger with money is still a lame nigger. And that's what we're seeing with academics and boom. Just because you have money doesn't mean you can unlame yourself. You can never undork yourself with just money and fame. You're still going to be a dork at heart. So maybe it's quite gratifying to see that these lames, these dorks, these nerds who were never cool just because they have money and fame and status, they still do lame nigger shit. It's just unfortunate that women and children have to be hurt in the process. That's the only real shame about it. 
but God almighty, man, what a pathetic and disgusting situation all around. And yeah, um, so down to the victims. Hope everything gets sorted out, but that's fucking disgusting.